hi guys i guess that this is part two of my hand poke experience stick and poke stick and poke tattoo experience so i uploaded a video about my experience kind of from yesterday when i did it to this morning so much has changed in that short amount of time get your wear dry gem so much has changed in that short amount of time so um I have been using a moisturiser and uh, I have eczema, I kind of get it along my knuckles and so I use this, I think it's called Zero Base, I use this pumped up moisturiser and because when you do a tattoo it says that you've got to keep the site moisturised and it says you know that it's supposed to be good for it. Yeah, this is what's happened to my tattoo. <laughs> Can you see that? It's literally gone. It's so strange. I know that you're kind of, I'll put a picture maybe here, but if you listened or watched the first part of it, go onto my playlist and you can see it. It's literally faded. So I've got three little dots, still got a little bit of the, um, the purple bit that come from the transfer, tattoo transfer. It's literally gone. There's still black bits there, but it's fading. The little black dots that carried the ink literally are all gone. So, um, yeah, it would appear that <laughs> when I woke up this morning, it was slightly faded, and you know, I've gone about my day washing my hands and so on and so forth, and I've been moisturizing my hands every time that I wash them. Well, I've been moisturising my finger every time I wash my hands. I've been using a see-through catering glove if I'm washing up and so on and so forth. But yeah, so it's literally gone. I have made the decision, though, that it looks as though I didn't actually go in deep enough to the, like, you know, poking of the finger. I have decided, though, that once the swelling has gone down... And um, once it's all cleared up, I'm not going to do it again. I figured that, you know, it did carry ink. You can see, especially around here. It is very sore, but it has, you know, had a needle stuck through it. But um, where the little bits are, I don't know if you can see on the light, it did carry ink to make, like, these little bumps. But, yeah, so once they're all gone... I'm not going to do a tattoo, I think that, to be honest, it's quite painful as well, but, um, yeah, I'm going to leave that, I think. So, uh, yeah, that was my experience. I think maybe if I want to change my look up, you know, I'll use a midi ring, <laughs> perhaps. I've got a cute little um, turtle one, and if you know me, you'll know that I like midi rings. If you don't know that, then you know that now. But yeah, so I've been using something called Zero Base, which is a moisturiser, it's an eczema uh, moisturiser. I think that when you have a tattoo done, they put some sort of Vaseline on it. And because it's a different kind of, you know, texture, makeup. But um, yeah, so with mine, I've literally been putting on like a small layer of cream. But it has been enough to get rid of the majority of the tattoo so I guess that's it really you know I'm gonna see how it heals I'm hoping that these little tiny bits of ink go you can't really see them all that well but there's little bl black bits of ink and what I will do is right now I will show you here's what the tattoo was supposed to look like here's what the tattoo looked like and here's what I've got now. And that's it. So the moral of the story is I didn't go in deep enough when I did the tattoo. And um, yeah, lesson learned, I guess. Maybe Mother Nature didn't want it there. I don't know. We'll see. Stay tuned this way. I'll be doing a makeup tutorial. That is coming, I promise. And yeah, stay tuned. Lots of fun things coming your way. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope that this has helped. And um, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you want to follow me, you can find all the details here. And 
Yeah. Bye.